Passes Eiffel TV, MTA Global. Scorecards, wide? Very wide, yeah. I you know, when, um, when I went to get in the ring, Callum Smith jumped on the thing, he went, I won that, right? And I was like, I think he was so. a clear winner. To well, yeah, I don't, I don't, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand people's points of what they're going to say as well. Like, of course, you can make a case for both men, but you've got to look down at, at you know, the, the harder quality, the better quality shots were coming from Callum. Yes, I know there was inside work from John Ryder and it's a kind of messy fight at times, but ultimately Callum's picking the harder shots in there and the more the more hateful shots on this one. But this isn't an amateur contest, it's professional boxing. You're there to hurt people. Mm. Did Callum Smith look hurt in that fight once? I didn't see him hurt. To be honest, John Ryder didn't really look wobbled and really hurt, but there's a few shots there where you thought, ooh, you get another one like that, like you're going out. So, on the whole, I, I gave Callum seven rounds to five. I could have even said... But, you know, seven rounds to five is one round away from a draw. True. So, yeah, but, True. but no, I'm saying I don't disagree with your scorecards, but I felt like 117, 111. The problem is with the scorecards, there was a lot of close rounds, by the way. A lot of close You know what the big thing is in boxing? When a fighter does better than is expected, you automatically think he's won. And also, when you get wide scorecards, when it probably wasn't as wide, yes, it, it magnifies it, everything yes, and says, oh, you know, the So how did you actually score it? I probably had Callum just edging the fight by a round or two. And I thought the last round, I thought he won the last round, and I thought that was a big round for him, because the 11th was not a good round for him. No, it wasn't. It's like when you see Mayweather against the likes of Maidana, mm. and he does so much better than you'd ever anticipated, but let's be brutally honest, he didn't win the fight. He just, he just didn't do it. But so, the scorecards distract us from that. Yeah, from the from truth, that, from, from the reality the re of it. The reality the result, of it is... Yeah. One fight. 15, one 13. Yeah. They're I poor though. They, what, the 117, 111 was yeah, poor. Yeah, again, if you're that's scoring it 115, 113, then 116, like whenever there's a round difference, but 117, 111. It's just bang out of it. It actually, it, you get to a point where you, if you're a rider, you start thinking, fucking hell. What have I got to do? Like, what? Yeah. You know, you know I, I, I couldn't have even won. Even if I would have won another two rounds, I couldn't have won. Yeah. So, that, that, that is very unfair when you put it like that. That's unfair because, as I say, there were certain parts in that fight where he's making it uncomfortable. Come, you've got to look at it this way. Callum Smith is the best super middleweight in the world. John Ryder just gave the best super middleweight in the world his hardest fight to beat. Mm, yeah. I think I look you agree with that? Uh, yeah, yeah absolutely. Well, it's a shadow of a doubt. Mm. Well, who else has pushed Callum close yeah. like that? No, not I haven't seen I'll tell you what, it's going to be a lot easier to make the fights now for Callum Smith. Do you believe, really believe yes, that? Yes, 100%. As regards to who though, to a Golov? Canelo, Canelo's Golovkin. not fighting me. No, I'll tell you, you'd be surprised. Listen, I was getting a few texts during that fight saying, oh, and, and they know one wanted a piece of him. They look at his age, they look at his power, they look at his experience. They're not going to touch him, mate. It's danger all written all over it. But I hope I'm wrong, because, but I'll tell you something, he won't come to Anfield. No, probably not. He won't come to what about Billy Joe? Yeah, Billy Joe, listen. Billy's the, old face, anyone. You know what, the, the, the funny thing is, is both of them have had probably what you'd call below par performances. Yes. Mm. So they'll be looking at each other now thinking, oh, I'm sure Callum looks at Billy Joe. Does and that make your job harder? In the selling part. Yeah, maybe, but it makes it easier to make. Yes, because it makes they'll it both fancy it. Yeah. You know, and again with with Canelo and Golovkin, it's just whether you look at an Anfield fight or you make a big fight in America. Yeah, but then also you've got to look at the fact of Billy Joe looking at that tonight. That's not Billy Joe's style. That's going to create Callum problems. Mm. Billy Joe's style is what Callum wants. He wants to fight at mid range. He wants to face a boxer who's going to try and outbox him. No one's going to outbox Callum Smith. I don't care how good you. The only way to beat him is to get on his chest and really hate him. And I think Canelo's capable of doing that. But on the other hand, Callum's completely capable of doing that to Canelo. He's a destructive puncher. I mean, you asked John Ryder tonight if he felt any of them shots. I'm telling you now, he'll have felt them. Callum Smith is a very hateful puncher and the best in the middleweight in the world. I, mean, I can't keep harping on enough about it. He's got a win tonight. Proves he's the number one. Let's see what you can do, lad. Let's see. Hey, just a quick one through Fowler. I thought Fowler. I thought he boxed quite well. The, the worst style for Anthony Fowler you could ever find. And when he got hurt, it became an even worse style because he didn't want to engage at all. I thought he boxed well. I thought it was a good learning fight. I think we need to make the Fitzgerald fight. I think that's what everybody wants to see. It gives him a chance to try and take that off his record. Gives Fitz a chance to win again. And I think it's a really big fight for the North East. Good win for Billum Smith against Glover. Yeah, again, hard for Tony because obviously he's very close with uh, Craig Glover and manages him. I just thought that he was the better fighter. To be honest with you, I thought there was 
uh, stages in the fight where Craig had some success, and I think he hurt Billum Smith a couple of times. But I think Billum Smith's actually underrated. I think he's technically quite sound. I think he's got a good jab. I think he can punch well. I think he's grown in confidence. Can punch. And, yeah, and I think it was a lot. It was probably down to experience tonight as well. Yeah. I thought Craig looked a little bit tense, and you the know, Liverpool crowd got yeah. to get under the lights. It's hard, it's hard, you know, when you're coming in and you're your chief support in front of seven and a half thousand people. You know, and Billum Smith's been there before. He boxed React Corps on a pay-per-view card. He's been in the main event. And, you know, it was, a, it was a big win for him. And you know what? As much as, obviously, Craig's with Tony and I like him, Billum Smith's a nice kid as well. And I'm pleased, oh, I'm pleased for him. You know, he said a lot of nice things I'm, about yeah, Craig after yeah. this. So I'm, 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 I'm pleased for him and disappointed for Craig. But, you know, he took his opportunity. He, he, he got an opportunity and he came up short. Mm. He couldn't have put any more in the gym. Couldn't have tried any harder. Couldn't have lived the life any better. Just weren't good enough on the night. Farrell Dodd. Bit this, I mean, great little four rounds. I wish we could have got some more. It was warm you know, enough to I wanted be one or two more, but it was a horrific cut. Horrific cut, and it was actually was it a cut. That bad? It was a cut that was going into both eyes. That was the problem. Oh, okay. I, weren't I, as bad I as your one against Belonte. You know. Belonte? Yeah. Oh. Do you Rolling back the years. Can I just say something? This man was a very, very underrated fighter. I, don't know about I mean, he got the credit in the end, but I was watching the Masternak fight on Sky today. That was a fucking tough fight. Yeah. Well, I know it's from you. Actually, decent head movement. That's you actually means. missed a few shots. A few jabs Just a few. Who, who was that one you thought yeah. your first one at Cruiser, right? Was it Valerie? Valerie Brudoff. Brudoff. Yeah, yeah. And I knocked him out and snapped his ankle right out of yeah. place as he went down. And then Dos Santos. Yeah, that was a BJ crack. Flores. Yeah, well, that was a world title. No, that was silly, that, because the way I went, I watched that fight back, the way I went into that fight was stupid. But it just, I, what was the say, deal said, I wanted to face Demetrio Kucha, and he went, fuck that tone, he can really fight. And he had to, I said, he said, what about BJ Flores? And I said, I can't stand him, I'd fuck that. And I said, no, listen, it's a good defence. And I said, I'll fight him on one reason, you get David A to commentate. Mm. He said, not a problem, we've done it. So you kicked the toe on yeah, it. Mate. That's where I was like. I'm always one step ahead. Yeah, he was. He didn't even tell me what he was going to do. I'm watching it all going off thinking, what's he fucking doing? Should have let me next, know. Next thing, it's Hey Bell, you're at the O2. <laughs> twice. Twice. Yeah, not once, but twice, yeah. Um, final word, obviously, Wilder Ortiz. I spoke to you about it, but I'm, routine I'm or not? I mean, I believe what? Wilder wins, but I'm curious. Curious. Because anybody with, with boxing shape, ability. Yeah. yeah. But I'm curious, yeah. And, yeah. and where his hair's going. It's 105 right? years old. I know, yeah, I know, he's now 42. But I'm curious, anybody that can box, can cause wilder problems. Yes. But how long he gets can you box for? Yeah, if you get it, he's going to be in trouble. But also, I don't think Wilder's. I think Wilder's capable of getting hurt as well. You can get it. The only thing, the only problem is, which I said to you earlier, since the defeat to Wilder, the first defeat, he Ortiz has not looked good at all. Yeah. So I see how, how, many boxes, like how many times three, he boxed? He, he went points with Christian Hammer, didn't he? And he was like, it didn't look great. Right I didn't know. I see. I've paid no attention since the. It's good because he's a pundit, so it's good. No, it's not. I've paid no attention since you know the second fail or third fail, whatever it was. So I've had enough. It's just it just makes me switch off. So. Here's what it is. Are you quite content, yeah? Content. Yeah, with your life. <laughs> right out of retirement, yeah. He's looking well, isn't he? Yeah. Slim, slim down because he was um, getting a bit chunky. Thanks for that, mate. Well, so were. was you. I oh, know, I know, I know. And I was about to say I lost oh, the fan, but it's no, the whole vegan, the vegan. You know. Everyone, everyone's on the vegan. He's doing great, but I did send him some actual facts the other day that yeah. I'm for him to have a look over and read over. He actually sent me a video talking to the. Is he the Everton? Or he was for the decade. Yeah, coach. Nu coach and nutritionist about how it's a load of bollocks. Is it really? It doesn't matter because it's working for him. Yeah, exactly. So as I said to him, if in your head you think it's no, working for you, that's what it is. What it's doing is stopping me from eating well, chocolate. Listen, he's there we go. Butter. Yeah. Good luck. Do you really yeah. have to not eat chocolate if you're a vegan? No, of course not. You plunk guys. No, it's dairy. Well, I don't know. Don't pay any attention, but you know. So vegan's different to vegetarian, isn't it? Oh, well done, mate. No, I'm just saying. Yeah. Point it out. Okay. Oh. You do, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to lie, and I never I'll, give you a really cake. You look fucking great, thanks, by the way. I'll be honest with you, I'm fucking hungry. Oh, yeah. And do you know what I want right now? Which we always have after have every show? Pizza. You can have crisps. And you can have chips. Way, yeah. great. Can you have chips? But you can't have fucking pizza. Pizza. And we always have pizza. After every show, as you know, we have pizza and Corona. You can have a beer, can you? Yeah, you can have a beer. Can you? Yeah. yeah. I'm not a big It's a bullshit thing. I don't know why you're even doing it. Mate. Listen, it doesn't matter. These I, 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 Come on, we're going to do the press. Right. I have got factual evidence that it is a load of bullshit, but at the same time, he's happy, so I'm happy for him. I'm yeah, happy. I'm happy. Do you know what he said to me? Happy. Don't, piss on, happy. don't piss on me, parade. Yeah, don't kill my buzz. Hey, don't kill me, buzz. I was like, I'm trying to help you. Don't let them fool you. But you're doing great, lad. Be Cheers, happy. mate. Thank you, mate. Cheers. Man. Yeah, he's good, mate. Cheers, mate. What's he up to? Uh, he is special. <laughs>
absolute dynamite. Oh my goodness! Here we 